Hey, okay. Thanks. Uh, so I think I spoke at this before, but it was at ThoughtWorks, right? Last, last couple. Are we good, Michael? All right. So anyway, um, I spoke about this project that is sort of my descent into madness for the last couple of years. I'm really glad that I'm not the only one who likes emoji sheep, just like the previous speaker, because um, that's kind of my whole thing. Uh, Commons host is a, like a CDN that I worked on for a while now. Um, launched it like almost a year ago. And um, uh, went from like having one pop, like CDN has like a lot of servers in the world, right? Went from having like one pop, which was like my Mac at home, um, to like about 30 plus now in 20 plus locations around the world. So it's pretty, pretty sweet. Uh, it does static web hosting. Like you have a static website. Like I have one of our, one of our glorious users here. You know, you, you, you get like free hosting around the world super fast. Um, and it runs on something like, like these guys. Uh, these are these are little Odroid server. There's like a little single board computer, like a Raspberry Pi times five performance wise, something like that. It, has, it does full gigabit. That's the key thing. It's great for you st stick an SSD in here and, and it just like blasts away on a fiber connection, like serving a lot of content. Um, so I've got a couple dozen of these around the world now. Uh, this one actually is the back end. So sorry, you can't upload a website right now. I, I brought, just to demo it, I took my server here. Uh, you want to you check it out? <laughs> The, 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 that means that the, the CDN is totally fine. Um, you can take out the back end for a while, do some maintenance or whatever. Um, you know, something I'll work on is like get more redundancy. The other thing I took down from my network is uh, these two. These are two Raspberry Pi Model 1B or whatever uh, that I bought here from the 12 gigs guys at the um, Hackerspace maybe like five, six years ago. Finally got a use for them because you never do anything with these. Everybody, everyone has them in their closet, right? I, this one got, got like a nice little $2 AliExpress case and some stickers. Um, this is like a crappier case that I spray painted myself, but same thing. Uh, you run PyHole on there. PyHole is this uh, project uh, that does like ad blocking over DNS. So you have like your own little DNS server at home. Great, everybody, everybody has that thing, has like tens of millions of downloads. So you just set up, it's the easiest thing in the world. Then I built another one called Donut, which does Do, which is DNS over HTTPS. And DNS over HTTPS is a new protocol. Well, in USA, like about two years ago, people started working on it. I implemented it about uh, six months ago um, together with some friends. And we deployed it onto Commons Host. So now I've got about 30 something servers around the world, which is effectively one of the largest, um, by a number of uh, locations, DNS uh, public services in, in the world. And they're all running on these little servers. And what Do let me do that I would not otherwise be able to do is instead of running public DNS, which is you know, you know, running port 40, 50, 53 unencrypted and all that kind of stuff, you expose yourself to all kinds of attacks, uh, ampl amplification of traffic, you become like a vector for, D for DDoS and other targets. With Do, it's um, going over HTTPS. So with Do, with, with HTTPS, you can't really sort of redirect that the response to anywhere else. So you, you, I, I can safely deploy this. Um, and so if you want to try it out, you need to have a Do client. And right now, it seems like Firefox is still the, uh, the main client that people use. It has it built in. It is enabled by default. They uh, have a very controversial decision around there where, where they use. They default to uh, Cloudflare's servers that they have a tie up with uh, for whatever reasons. And people are kind of upset with that. And there's a, actually in the last few days uh, also a lot of uproar on the IETF mailing lists if you're into, into, that, into that stuff where people talk about, um, you know, it's getting too centralized. Like you, you only get like a couple of big DNS providers. I'm trying to prove that it's not. And this is a beautiful, elegant hack of a protocol. And I've implemented it and it took no time at all. And I want people to use it. So I built this donut thing. So donut is sort of a bridge. If you look at the, the picture here, should, should show the whole thing. You've got your Doe service, where you have like your Commons host, which is the one I build, and then there's a bunch of others. Like, and a lot of people uh, can implement this RFC 8484, and you need a client. But most people have a regular DNS client, right? You've got your you know, even regular PyHole or your, your standard phones and whatever. They don't talk Doe. So how do you talk Doe? You have to speak DNS to a proxy, and a Donut is such a proxy. It proxies DNS to Doe. And so the way I've done that is I run PyHole on this, and my DHCP on my home LAN announces that to like myself and a couple of dozen people on my public Wi-Fi in my apartment uh, building. Um, this thing then runs uh, Donut. It actually runs Donut in Docker. So actually, that's cool. You should check this out. I like know very little about Docker and I've learned a lot about it in the last couple of weeks because some amazing contributor found out about my project and put Docker. And now I've got like four and a half thousand downloads from just like two weeks of doing nothing to it anymore. And it's nice because this, this image um, how do you see like the files here? This is ridiculous. I don't know, man. Those are GitHub links somewhere. <laughs> right. I, well, there should be, right? I mean, I built, I built it. I, I wrote it. Uh, 
Yeah, I don't know. There's a bunch of stuff here, but it's it's pretty cool. This actually, I, I really love this dock thing. So I'm gonna tangent for like 20 seconds. This thing basically runs uh, a Docker thingy container with QEMU, which is like an emulator, and it emulates various architectures. ARM six, seven, eight. Carry on, carry on. Uh, question time, or uh, is it like? You can carry on it. We'll okay, boss. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. So it basically builds images for all kinds of architectures on like Travis CI or whatever CI or in your own machine. So if, if you ever need to like compile a node app into a Docker thing and make it cross-platform for everyone else, like copy paste this thing. I've already copy pasted it for another project now. So that's actually a really cool thing as well. You can tell I totally prepared for this talk by like, no, no. I spent a couple of years coding to prepare for it, I guess. Uh, is the Wi-Fi a little bit slow? Come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't have time. Ah, never mind. I built a benchmarking tool. Check it out. It's called Bulldozer. It uh, figures out latency. So it's like you run it on your own machine. Uh, I'm making a web-based version of it. I'll have that available very soon. Um, it basically like does like ping for DNS. So it'll, it'll and you can get, run it against a whole bunch of servers and, and, and like just figure out what is the fastest DNS or dough and then you know, use that one. And with Donut, you can then, it, it does that built in. So you can just tell Donut, like, connect to all of them, and it'll automatically, like, you know, start measuring them and route your traffic to the fastest one. It'll, look, it'll do other cool stuff for privacy as well. It'll actually, you can tell it to, like, sort of shard your traffic across all of your Do or DNS resolvers when it proxies to, like, a whole bunch of them. Um, the other thing is it can spoof queries. So you don't trust your Cloudflare or your Google or your Commons host or your neighbor's DNS or whoever. So it can sort of, like, when you make a query, It'll sort of randomly, before or after, or with some delay, send a query to one of like the top one million domains with like a, you know a curve, like picking out the, the most likely ones. So it's like very hard to detect the spoofed queries. Um, so it has all these kind of stuff. Uh, there's more things that I want to add to it. There's a like you can, but yeah, I'll leave it at that. Um, okay. Oh, one more thing. Maybe for the next talk, I just want to give a quick. Uh, is it available yet? Hang on. No, Wi-Fi is slow. I'll save it for next time. I have another cool project, but I won't do it for now. Okay, thank you. Any questions? Have, have time for questions? So this, this is why the, I'm seeing this right. That's exactly correct. This guy is not doing his job right now. Okay, and you, yeah. I'm a, I'm a user who has a complaint. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, wait, wait an hour and we'll be up, we'll be up again. Thanks. <laughs> so does this really need dedicated Raspberry Pi just to run? Oh, no. Um, in fact, so I, I run Docker with the donut on this guy, um, but I also run donut on this guy himself. Mm -hmm. So I, I've set it up. I, at first, I ran it for a week or something, so like just use the local host uh, donut. Then I wanted to set up Docker, so I was like, hey, I have another Raspberry Pi. Let's set up Docker on that thing and you know deploy like that. But so you could run it on my whole totally, totally. Most people run it. I mean, from the thousands of downloads, it looks like most people are running it on like Docker on whatever. You can run it on a digital ocean or something or. You know, your your own your own like old laptop or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Any, any questions? Yeah. Man, so much questions. <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you. Good. Hey, wait, do we have two, do I have like a minute and a half? Yeah. Are you my captive audience? <laughs> nice. Okay, one thing I want to I want to see like does this make sense? Um, was it? I've been working on it for two days and I can't forget. I forget the name. Go for. So I I did. Um, he knows. He knows what's up. <laughs> so yeah, nobody has a thing like this. Anybody know what Gopher is? Yeah, you mean the old yes. Yeah, yeah. Original Gopher protocol. Yes, exactly, exactly. Where are we here? So there's this ancient protocol that was sort of a competitor to the World Wide Web, to like HTTP and it's HTML. Still it's, it's, like, it's still around, like very niche, but still around. Uh, so no? I'm not too sure yeah, about that. Yeah. Come again. Yeah, you can. You, there's there's 299 known uh, Gopher servers in Veronica version two uh, search engine, which is like an exhaustive database of all Gopher servers, right? Um, uh, so are you sure that they are not just for the sake of preservation? Mm. Hmm, hang on. Where's this thing? Anyway, that's not a Gopher emoji. Yeah, there's not. Uh, <laughs> so it's, it's like, which one is close? Do you think? Close enough, I, guess. I don't know. Or the squirrel, or or the the rat. But they, but they're actually not like squirrels. They're like a different family. They're a different order and family, like family thing. So it's it was a it was a conundrum. Uh, here here go. go. Did, did anyone know what this is? Why is it a wolf? Oh, for real? 
<laughs> Come on. <laughs> this is such Don't an in-joke. Do you uh, also bring the, the gopher machine? The, the gopher machine? Yeah. yeah but you normally need machine too. Oh, waffle machine, gopher machine. Yeah. Oh. oh, that's a good idea. I should have. So next time I should have waffles or something. I don't know. I just wanted to bring. I have not found the use for these. I ordered them randomly on AliExpress. I waited too much. It's it's so I mean it's it's obvious. It's waffle. No, it's a, it's a gopher protocol over HTTPS, just like you do DNS. Over. So I'm, I've I've written a proxy for that, and I'm I'm literally working on it right the entire afternoon. Yeah, yeah, hence the thing. So there's one is the proxy and the other is the client. Uh -huh. Same thing with the DNS. I have to build the, the, the sort of a, a proxy thing and like the translate and then a client that talks to it. Is it public? Is it finished? No, it's like not even committed to the repo at home let's, on my other computer. Let's, let's see this in like three months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me a couple of days, you know.